Hello everyone, and welcome to our 99th review commentary. This is the final movie review. This is the final one before the finale. I just, I can't, I can't even put into words how I feel in this moment. But let's just, let's just get the review underway. This is War Dogs, um, a cool movie I saw with my brother, and let's review it in five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. I didn't have my good hand ready. Fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty. Much. It's much. <laughs> this is actually a great movie. I'd love to rewatch it. Um, I don't know if there's a lot to gain from rewatching it, because again, already got my review, and I feel like I nailed it down like the concept and understood everything that there was to understand the first time. God. The red hue is not only on my face, I'm, it's sad to see it here in the final episodes. But it looks like they're in my fucking eyes. I look high as shit. I know I'm not, but still. The uh, cover for War Dogs is amazing. Amazing, by the way. Probably illegal. When you're taping money to yourself, it's probably illegal. But, um, this and Wolf of Wall Street, said at the exact same time, uh, really proved to me, like I'm saying here, just how amazing Jonah Hill is as an actor. You know, the first time I saw him was back in the days when he was like, Ask me about my wiener! Uh, in movies like Accepted. And then I saw him in the Seth Rogen movies, the Judd Apatow movies, now he's in his own lane. Now he's in Quentin Tarantino movies. Uh, movies by Martin, by this guy. I believe this is from, yeah, the director of The Hangover. Which is like an actually creative, an actually pretty creative director, because I forget what other project he's tackling this year. But um, I don't know why he's still using like The Hangover as his like main accomplishment. I feel like War Dogs would also be, you know, to say like to prove your worth as a director. Because I've heard that phrase from the director of The Hangover too many times. Like, he should bump up the resume. Because it's been updated. Oh my god, I forgot my shades. Yeah. Are we good? We good. Love Jonah Hill's character in this. That is safe to say. Which it's harder for you to get cast if you're not like a typecast kind of guy, so. Is taking a risk. Bradley Cooper's on a bunch of drugs in this movie. Based on a true story, an American dream. Every part of this cover, like, is awesome. I like the black and white. I like that their suits are, like, mishmashing like that. I like the font. I like the top and bottom, how it's, like, director from The Hangover. An American Dream. It's a good, it's a good poster. 
Like, I would put that in my house. Huh. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these movies. Like, I know a lot of these movies I'll probably never watch again. And I do say that. I, like, once I review something, I kind of, like, let go of it. I don't think I've rewatched a film I've reviewed yet. Um, that being said, though, like, I feel like a good amount of these movies I am going to want to watch want to rewatch when I'm like in my 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, whether I have a kid or something by then, that would be a great way to show them. At the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, it's good. Dude. An 8 out of 10 and the soul badge of approval. Yep, because it was a great film, despite what some people think of it. And this is also around the time that I was really into Miles Teller as an actor, because Whiplash and um, a couple other movies he was in. You know, I've seen him some other shit. I saw him in uh, Divergent. Wasn't, didn't care for that. But he's a great actor as well. That was my 99th review. Ah, it is so, it is so blissful to be here. Uh, until the final episode, the final episode. Thank you for watching, and with that, I leave you.